Hello and welcome back to Stalker Call of Pripyat. This is going to be a fairly short episode, um, comparatively speaking to my other episodes, because um, I'm actually doing a stream right after this, but I wanted to sneak in a quick recording session. Whoops, that's not the direction I want to go. Um, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be streaming with Buddy Galen, and I don't know what we're gonna. Yo, you guys are. You guys got to work on your synchronization here. There's a, it's a bit of, a little bit discordant. It does not sound good. You guys are not harmonizing exactly. So what are we going to do? We're going to go and kill a mutant maybe. Um, I, I'm a little bit worried about this. Uh, I don't think I've fought the, the mutant in question that I've been tasked with killing. I also need to get some food. Um, luckily we do have some water. I have, I have one of my three, uh, requirements checked. Um, the other two being, uh, food and bullets. We don't have bullets really accounted for. I have, you know, shotgun shells at least. Uh, speaking of which, I have gone ahead and repaired my shotgun. Not the parts that make up the shotgun. Um, just the shotgun itself. And I do think that that has a more of an effect on, uh, like, the the effectiveness, the condition, the, the chances of the gun jamming. I think that uh, the condition of the, of the weapon itself um, plays more of a role in that sense, which is uh, maybe a flaw in, in the mod in general. Like, you know, you would hope that... Um, the, the gun is a sum of its parts, right? What I would like to see um, changed, maybe, uh, I don't know if this is another mod uh, option or if there's already, like, maybe if I have turned something off or on, this would be an option, but I'd like to see the condition of the gun being, like, uh, a sum of the condition of all of the parts. Meaning if, like, the condition of any one part was, like, damaged, then the condition of the gun would be damaged, you know, like that's that's how what what would make sense to me um, Because you know, surely the gun itself is made up of the parts um, But I don't know. I'm not a gun uh, Expert I'm not even a gun adequate. I'm not even a gun basic um, So I, I I'm willing to believe that the, there is like a base gun condition and then there are conditions for all of the other parts but either way you would think that um if you're let's see here if your pump was damaged your bolt was worn your trigger mechanism was damaged and your barrel was worn that the gun would probably not work like maybe it would work but it would have just as much likelihood to jam than not so uh you know but uh, what do i know i don't that's the point um, so we are gonna go and kill something pretty nasty. I don't know what it's called. Um, it's called a Night Terror. You know, it makes sense to me that that would be what was, uh, that, the, the mutant that I killed before. I know what a poltergeist looks like. Um, I've seen a poltergeist. They kind of look like anomalies. They don't really have any corporeal form. They look like floating anomalies that kind of run around. Um, so I know what a poltergeist looks like. So this is not that. What I imagine this is, is actually the thing I already killed in the cordon. Okay, I think I see it. Or at least I see something that... I have never seen anything, first of all, that large. I've also never seen anything crawl up a tower like that. That was actually very scary. Um, we'll, we'll see. I... I don't like fighting things in the brush like this.
I won't lie, I'm a little spooked. Observation post. Yeah? Okay. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know if I can fight this thing. Yeah, that's definitely the biggest thing I've ever fought in in this game. Um, I, I shot it like four or five times. Maybe not in the face. Faces. Um, wow. Well, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do about this. Um, there's a couple of options here. I could try again. Uh, what I was seeing, what I was thinking is that there is a shed. I saw a shed over there. Uh, I'm wondering if it wouldn't be worth trying to jump into the shed. I'm hoping he's large enough that he would not fit through the doorway. Um, he also, I mean, uh, I don't know. This, this is, this is beyond my pay grade. I won't lie. It doesn't help that I don't have a lot of endurance right now. I don't have anything to eat. What, do, what am I using? Um, why don't we try switching this to auto? Is it auto now? Yeah, full auto. Uh, we'll try this. If this doesn't go well at all, then I may give up on this. I'm going to try going for the shed. Oh, he's up there. Okay. Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, I put almost a full clip into him. And I, I can't believe the shotgun jammed. I really had that coming, didn't I? I really did. Oh man. All right, we're, we're not doing that. I'm going to the cordon. I've had enough of this. <laughs> I've truly had enough of uh, missions that I can't defeat in the swamp, no less. I mean, the swamp's supposed to be, I mean, I, I guess I'm just wrong. Uh, I thought the swamp was a little bit uh, easier going than some of the other places, but dang, if I'm wrong about that, if we're, we're seeing night terrors, and apparently night terrors are pretty terrifying, actually. Um, yeah, we're, we're not doing that. I'm, I'm running away. We're gonna go to the cordon. I'm gonna kill whatever happened, I happen to come across, because I could definitely use some food. But man, there sure, there sure are some spooky things in the waste, in the zone. You know, like, uh, I've never seen anything like that in a game. I mean, maybe I have, but I don't know. There's something about this game, like, it, put in the context of the this world, I think it makes it a little bit scarier. I'm not exactly sure even why. Um, it's like, I don't know what that thing used to be. I, I don't, I know what it is now, but what did it used to be? What was it? Was it anything at like one point? Was it like, maybe it was like a, a wolf. The wolves are apparently, um, are the, the, what do you call them now? Not the blind dogs. Um, the pseudo dogs are apparently wolves. 
They're what ha they're, they are what happens when a wolf mutates. But, uh, you know, there are other creatures. Like, I, I don't want to be, like, hyperbolic or anything like that. But, like, what what happens when a lion mutates? Also, is that our friend? Or has that zone been taken over once again by bandits? I, oh my god. That's a cat. I actually do need to kill quite a few of these. God damn it. Pass. Pass on all that. I don't really want to. I just want to go to the cordon. Yeah. I'm good. There's some, I'm getting some nasty lag, not even lag, but like frame hangups today. I don't think I have anything extra running on my computer. I, I wish, um, I wish I could have gotten something to eat from that cat. Although I don't like the idea of eating mutant cat, but, uh, yeah, I mean the mutant cats, they, they don't really look like cats anymore. Got the moss. Maybe it's time to get out of here. It's too bad I didn't have the assistance of, like, a bunch of clear sky stalkers to help me uh, take down that night terror. What the heck is the dude at? Like, he must be some kind of freaking comedian. Um, the guy at our, you know, the, the swamp base. He's like, hey, lone stalker, why don't you go ahead and take on a night terror? There's no way that they don't know exactly how, like, ridiculously hilarious that is. I have no idea what that's supposed to signify. I think it might mean that I can get an artifact. Could be wrong about that, though. If you, uh, if you happen to know what that means, like that big glowing light, I've seen it a few times. Um, what that is supposed to mean, then I'd like to know. Is it just like a random event that happens in the zone? I think a habit I am going to get, try and get into is, um, I'm going to start saving, auto-saving or I guess quick saving, like when I'm actually near a base that I could duck into if there was a storm. Ah. Maybe that thing signifies a storm. I can't actually move right now. I am, I really should have gotten some food. Probably I'm gonna have to load. Because I don't think I can make it like this. I can't jump over this wall. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to load for sure. Alright, let's just load. 
Uh, I'm having a lot of problems. They're they're kind of adding up, and they're they're making for a less than enjoyable experience. But I mean, uh, you know, some of them are my bad. Some of them are like, what what are you doing, giving me missions in the swamp that involve night terrors? Like, what the heck? It's just a, I don't know that doesn't make sense to me that seems like something you would fight like way further like that was on a chimera level maybe they're really easy to take out i don't know maybe maybe i'm actually just wrong about this so my my save was exactly right before the storm so i'm worried i might have to load a previous save this keeps happening I keep finding myself in exactly this situation and it's getting kind of exhausting. If I don't make it this time, I'll have to load a previous save. Oh my god. This is this is really frustrating. Oh cool, never mind. Yeah, I absolutely gonna am gonna have to load a previous save. Because apparently this church is taken over by bandits again. What what are we doing? <laughs> Okay, this is this is the last um, save I did. Oh my god. Well, if I leave, like, first of all, I'm gonna go get some food. I, I hate, like I say, I hate buying food. Um, it's really like it just I'm constantly being taxed and it sucks. Um. So that's why I don't like buying food. I, I keep hoping I'm going to find some food instead of having to pay for food. Um, but, you know, it's it is what it is, I suppose. Like, I'm I'm getting pretty close to being able to afford my gunsmithing tools. I would really like to be able to afford some gunsmithing tools. And when I have to buy food, it just like sucks. It also kind of sucks that um, in both of these episodes, I have been in a situation where I, I have to come to terms with the fact that I cannot take on some of these missions. Okay. Um, so that is our food eaten. Let's get our drink on. And I'm just going to head to the cordon now. I am I do not need to wait around any longer. It sucks that I... I the one thing I do regret is I, I didn't get those cat claws because I needed to kill some cats. I kind of wish that um, there, were, there was a way to look for specific um, mutants. I cannot believe that church is again taken over by bandits that is just such a freaking bummer that thing that that church has barely belonged to the stalkers for like longer than the first hour of this game i actually got like some major quests there so i'm not sure what happened to the the quest givers are they just gone saw a, cat, a guy from clear sky kill a cat in the great swamp west of the burnt house i don't know where, where that is what is that? I don't think I've ever seen that. That one. Just a an extra stash if I want it. Can't believe the shotgun jammed. After all that talk I did about the gun not, you know, needing to be repaired fully. Just wow. At least we can run for a good long time now. We're going to head to Agriprom and, um, not Agriprom. Why did I say that? It's because there's a thing in the bottom left that said Agriprom. Anything cool over here? Nope. Uh, we're going to head to Cordon. I don't want to fight this church. I'm sick of fighting this church, in fact. Don't, I don't need this. Ground unit, air unit, requesting aid in the swamp. 
northwest of the machine yard, we are being assaulted by a pack of dogs. You're really requesting air support for dogs? My dude. Bruh, as, as they say, you know? So there's a few stashes in, in the cordon that I can do. I should also just like try and find some other quests. Also should um, have a quick look-see at what I need in order to make the, uh, the bear detector. And just try and kill some mutants. Just do whatever, you know. Whatever gets us closer to the gunsmithing tools. Once I get the gunsmithing tools, then then I'm I'm hoping things will pop off a little bit. Cause then we'll be able to we should be able to make air our own ammo. Oh god. Really? So I guess I had less time than I thought. I think these are good guys. Hello, friends. Want any work done? Deliver the package. Location Rostock. Nah. Got anything to sell? You got an energy drink. Will you buy any of my junk? Nah. I don't want to extinguish. I want to talk. Right, anything? No, no work. Anything to buy or sell? You've got some money, but I don't have anything to sell you. So I am going to be... I'm going to wait around a little bit uh, while the emission makes itself known. I'll probably do a pause. And that'll unfortunately shorten this episode even more because, you know, we don't we don't gain that time back. You know, it's it's still weighted. This that I have to assume that does mean that, that an emission is going to happen soon. It must be like the actual like w slight warning. Mm -hmm. That the time between that warning signal and the emission seems to be a little bit longer than I thought. Good time to do a little bit of exploration, although I don't think there's anything of value. There's always these crates, but never anything in those crates. Wait, I mean, it makes sense, you know, like in the real world, you wouldn't find crates with stuff, especially if there were people here, you know, like... Anyone um, worth their salt in the zone would know better than to put anything in those crates. Although we, we have something here. I don't know, a couple of rubles. Just I'm just looking around. I have nothing better to do. I might do a pause here actually. Just to save you a bit of... Oh, wow. I didn't expect that to break, to be honest. I think I got a flashlight. Broken flashlight? Yes. Broken flashlight. Nice. Worth it. Alright, let's do a pause here and I'll see you real soon. All right, the emission doesn't seem to be coming, so I'm going to make a save here, and then we're going to just head to the cordon, because I am tired of wasting time, you know? Just going to head to the cordon, and there's plenty of safe places in the cordon. We don't need to be buying time in the swamps. And I'm also tired of the swamps, as I'm sure you are.
All right. We'll see how much time I have. Caution, caution. Do not do this. Turn back. The place you go, there is no God. Okay, let's, um, I'm gonna head north. There's obviously a safe-ish place over there. But I'd rather go to, um, what is that? Baddies. Oh God. Oh, almost walked right into an anomaly. Of course. Of course. Man. It's been, it's just been one of those days, you know? It's been one of those days where everything goes wrong. Okay, we actually made it. I cannot believe it. Saving. There's actually a stash here that I need to find, which is unusual. Sorry, I've got to, uh, just to make sure that OBS is okay. I'm not sure if these emissions don't actually spawn artifacts, but I, if that is something I learned from Stockcraft, so it's probably incorrect. Jesus. It's a good thing this very, very thin drywall is enough to protect us from this very dangerous radioactive emission. When they leave the house, I'm assuming I can leave the house. Also, do you have anything? No, привет. Any work? Bloodsucker heart. No thanks. Got anything to sell? Not really. Okay. It seems like um, the emissions seem to kill, uh, stun the birds. And that's when you can kill them. Unfortunately, they rarely get anything useful. I've very rarely gotten anything good from them. I'm trying to trying to kill the the or um, hack the bird. It's not letting me. Might be that this shotgun is just not good. Maybe I have to get a better shotgun. Did I get anything? Nothing. That was a free stalker. Unfortunate. Uh, anything good there? We've got functional hammer. And, um, what else? Not a terrible barrel, but I don't think it'll... Yeah, it's not, it's not going to work for ours. And a completely different, um, kind of extractor. I don't know. Nah. Not worth it. Like, we are right here. I could just take it and sell it, but... So I assume this is the sash here. Oh, look at all this stuff. Oh, and an ammunition guide. That's amazing. Uh, two small bore rifle repair kits. That's actually incredible. Legitimately good stuff here. Bean better days. What do you need? She, I feel like she's supposed to sell me stuff 
or to give me missions or anything, but she doesn't seem to. So I don't know what the deal is there. I guess I could have fast traveled to the court and I didn't have to um, talk to anyone. Is there any work that you want done? Species, diurnal, predator, in cordon, southeast of the rookie village. I'll do it. It's another one of those missions that tends to uh, accomplish itself. Is there any work you want done? Um, rescue the courier, darkscape. Anything else? No. Peace. You guys think mutants hide during storms too? An interesting idea. Oh, shoot. These guys, I have to, I have to, um, Escort some dudes. I didn't realize that that was the job I'd taken One stalker is supposed to bring me some special supplies from another trader, but I haven't heard anything from them him for from days for for some days At first I thought he just ran away with my stuff. I need someone to go there and check what happened I don't really want to go to any army warehouses right now um, Contract killer named faceless rabbit faction mercenary Also at the army warehouse Pass. Bandit faction patch 10. Yeah, I mean, I can already accomplish that. Um, the job is done. Here you go. 5,000 credits. Fantastic. The, the kind of job I love to do. Is there any work you have for me? Anything else? Uh, faction bandit. Location great swamps. My dude, I, I am done with the swamps. Um, no. Oh, I, I'm, I'm good. Can you tell me about the business around here? I'd like to purchase info on some hidden routes. I wouldn't mind that. Oh, I see. Uh, that's a bit expensive for me. Army warehouse, garbage, wild territory for 8,000 rubles. Clear sky hidden uh, path for 8,000 rubles. Yeah, I'm good for that. Um, if I give him 6,500, he'll tell me about a cache somewhere. You have connections, help me settle some things with some people. No, I'm good for now. Um, actually, what do you have to trade? Stop it, you. Real quick. I don't think that there's anything I want to buy right now. Probably, I, I should be buying some ammo, but I'm just, I'm trying to be very cheap right now. Whoa, what is this? Compression bag, everyday item used for packing up an unrolled sleeping bag. I don't know when I got that. I might have gotten it like now. I'll sell this stuff. Apparently these uh, uh, recreational magazines are actually good for something. Um, reading them improves your psychic resistance. I'm not kidding. That's hilarious to me. Oh, that ammunition guide I picked up was exactly the one I already had, which is a bummer. All right, well, um, I think I'll do this quest in the next episode because unfortunately I am running into my uh stream time here so we'll help these lads kill uh, a, a mutant it's just it's a really easy one they're just going to be killing a, a you know normal zombie mutant nothing spectacular there but uh yeah i'm going to be doing some very basic missions in the cordon i, I I'm, I'm good for taking on like major challenges for a little bit until i uh i get our gunsmithing tools and then uh, get better equipped for things like agriprom but uh, anyway, I hope you are enjoying the series. Um, if you enjoyed this episode, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.